Hello, Hamilton. If you haven't already heard, spring sports are a go. We are excited to get everybody back out on that field. Just a few things to go over so you are ready when April 19th hits. April 19th is the start date, but in order to participate, you have to complete your online registration. If you do not complete that, we cannot allow you to play. Everything is online. For those of you that have not had a physical from a doctor, please make that appointment today. Get in and get that physical. That physical has to be uploaded to your online registration form. You also have to have proof of insurance on your online registration form and complete the payment. We are no longer accepting any paper copies of any kind. So if you do not have that done, you cannot participate. I'm just gonna quickly present where you need to go to do the online registration and just give you a few tips. It's not very difficult once you know what you're looking for and once you know what you're doing, but I'm just gonna kind of walk you through it just in case. First thing you wanna do is go to Hamilton's website underneath athletics. If you go to the top tab here, it says register for MPS athletics. You're gonna click on that. This is back on the main MPS page. You can also access this from MPS's athletic webpage. You scroll down and do start a registration. If you've already began a registration, you have to continue with that same email. So if you've already begun, you're gonna go over here to returning users. If you are brand new, have not started this online system yet, you wanna to go to create new account. Okay, create new account. Your parents and guardians are going to enter their first name, their last name, and then you need to put in your username and password. This is just my email, but you wanna create a username and a password that you will remember, okay, that you will remember. For email, I highly recommend using an email that is a personal email. Because you are a student, outside organizations cannot send you emails. So I would use your personal email or a parent's personal email. Because once you enter that email, you will get a confirmation to continue on, okay? So parent or guardian first name, parent or guardian last name, create a username, create a password that you will remember, and then a valid email. And I would recommend using a non-MPS email. Once you do that and you go through and you sign up, it will give you something that says, enter your student ID and your last name. You may have to do this several times. For some reason, there's a little glitch that when you put it in, it might say student ID invalid. Keep trying, okay? I did it about four, four or five times when I was trying to uh, just do an example. It might have to go in a couple times. You don't need to include the S on your student ID number, just the number and your last name, and then you will get into the system. And then every page, you need to make sure that you fill out completely. If there are any questions, I can do my best to help, but I cannot get in to see your information until you actually register, okay? So I need to make sure you have everything in and submitted. Please, please, please get in and get this started now. Do not wait. If you wait too long, too long and April 19th comes, it's gonna be hard to get that physical in. So start doing all of those items now. We wanna get you back out on the field. We want you partaking in those fun parts about school, getting you back around with your friends. So please start taking care of this business now. If you have any questions, you can email me, nickel, K-X, N-I-C-H-O-L-K-X, at milwaukee.k12.wi.us, and I will do my best to help you. All right, everybody, let's get going. Go Wildcats.